a shop selling bags in Nakameguro, Tokyo. The bag that this customer is trying out is actually made from mushroom leather. The material is mushroom leather, made entirely of the fungi of mushrooms. The surface texture and wrinkles are almost indistinguishable from genuine leather. The patterns are also unique. There's no smell. With animal leathers, the smell is something that bothers me. We believe all materials for bags will change to those that are renewable and naturally derived from now on. What exactly is mushroom leather? We visited Nagano Prefecture, the top production region in Japan for mushrooms. This is a facility researching mushroom fungi. They test the growing conditions of various types of mushrooms. We're shown something. What kind of mushroom is that? This isn't for eating, but for mushroom leather. Inside is the mycelium of a mushroom before it forms. The specific type of mushroom mycelium is a secret. Under certain conditions, it grows flat. And in about a month and a half, it turns out like this. Synthetic leather from a natural material, mushroom leather. It's as strong as sheepskin leather. The unique patterns are said to have been made in the process of the mushroom trying to grow. Keita Inui is the president of Mysol Japan, which manufactures this mushroom leather. In Japan until now, technologies have been developed with a focus on growing mushrooms, but we need to advance technologies that instead don't encourage mushroom growth. Mushroom leather is attracting interest now amid growing opposition around the world to using animal-derived leathers. Eyeing competition with rivals overseas, the company is preparing to expand production. Mr. Inui visits mushroom farmer Taichi Yaoka. He shows him that mushroom leather. We're hoping you can work with us to build a mass production system in the future. Absolutely. The company is seeking producers in Nagano Prefecture to grow the main material, mycelium, to increase output. The number of mushroom growers has shrunk by 70% compared to 20 years ago because of price competition and the lack of successors. If mushroom leather becomes more widespread, it could become a massive $30 billion market globally in the next four years. If we can produce mushroom leather in our unused facilities, I think it would become a big advantage for us. By expanding the market from not only food, but also to clothing and shelter, we'll be able to export Japanese mushroom growing technologies and mushroom production technologies around the world, and that would benefit Japan's mushroom industry. To use this for bags, there needs to be a certain level of quality and volume. So they need to build up franchising know-how together with the farmers they are collaborating with. That will be the first step. 